And when it comes to automation or using jobs in SQL Server, I've already mentioned in a previous video that the SQL Server agent must be running. And I want to point this out and I want to show you a couple of things that you need to do with this. It's very important that you grasp this. Notice that if I look in the Object Explorer inside the Server Management Studio, at the very bottom I will see the SQL Server agent service. Now, if you'll notice in this instance, and I wanted you to see it this way, there's a red arrow pointing down. This means the service is currently down. It's not running. That's not the way I want it. My jobs won't run and nothing's going to behave properly. So what I want to do is notice I can right click here and choose start and it'll ask me if I'm sure. And I am and we'll give this thing a second and notice you should see it green and once it goes green you can now open it up and see our jobs alerts operators. Now there is something you need to make sure of and you probably need to check this. Go to start settings and let's go into control panel and once in the control panel let's double click and go into administrative tools and from there let's go into the services icon now I'm going to make this a little larger so you can see it you will notice in the list if you sort them by name alphabetically ascending you will notice SQL Server agent here's SQL Server and here's SQL Server. Notice this is for the default instance and this is for my named instance. So there's two services running. Then you'll notice SQL Server Agent for the default instance and for the named instance. Now I'm working with my named instance, Leesburg Mark. So I want to make sure that my SQL Server Agent, notice it is set to start manually. Well I want to right click that and go to Properties and I want to change that. That needs to be an automatic startup and I'll apply that. Now what's going to happen there is Every time this service starts up, or every time the database server starts up, this service is going to start. Same thing with the machine. Every time the machine reboots, the agent service will start. Let me right click that and go back to properties and show you one more thing. You're probably already aware of this, but just in case, this is where we choose what system account. For the purposes of this class, I'm running under local system account. In the real world, you will want to run in a domain account. But for now, we're just going to stick with what we've got. So that's how you would change the log on there. So we've told the SQL Server agent to start. We've set it to be automatic, and so we're cool there. We're now ready to go out and create some operators. Now, one of the things that you always want to make sure of is that your agent is up and running. Also, again, I've mentioned this before, but you know, three more times won't hurt. Uh, the agent information is stored in the MSDB database. So you want to make sure you're backing up that MSDB database. So in the next video now, let's create some operators and get this process going.